The other day, while on a driving lesson, I came across this interesting incident with an ambulance. You'll soon see we come up to a roundabout. you also see the left lane is being closed off due to roadworks. So always watch out for your road signs, as at the roundabout we're following the road ahead. Normally we'd use the left lane, today we need to use the right lane, the left lane is closed. My student checks her mirrors, signals, checks them one more time and then moves across as it's safe to do so. I then point to the middle mirror and ask my student to stop, as coming up behind us there's an ambulance. You can see it here from the rear view footage, they're coming at quite a bit of speed. At first it could seem dangerous to stop in front of this speeding ambulance. Looking towards the front camera, we can see by stopping, the ambulance could get round us. If we would have carried on forwards and stopped next to the cones, the ambulance would not have been able to get round us. Now recheck your mirrors to make sure the vehicles behind are going to stay behind. Sometimes they could try to follow the ambulance to get past you. Stay calm and continue the roundabout as you would do normally. So slowing down, checking to the right for your gaps and proceeding when it's safe to. Immediately after the incident, my initial thought was, was it safe to brake firmly in front of the ambulance, as the ambulance was coming at quite a speed. Normally, braking firmly in front of someone who's coming at speed is very dangerous and quite likely to get rear-ended. But in this situation, I think it's quite appropriate. The ambulance drivers are highly trained, so they can respond if you brake firmly. They're also properly planning to go around you rather than stay behind you, so they're kind of ready for you to break. Make sure you do not break firmly like this in front of a normal driver, especially if they're coming from behind you with a bit of speed. Why didn't my student respond to the ambulance, as I had to step in and tell them to stop for the ambulance? After discussing the incident with the student, at first they thought there was something wrong with their hearing, as they couldn't hear any sirens. I reassured them that at first, the sirens were not going. The sirens only started when the ambulance was quite close behind us. I had already spotted the ambulance well before this point. After thinking about it, the student then said they think they need to be checking their mirrors more frequently. As if they were checking them more frequently, they would have spotted the ambulance before the sirens started to go. By spotting the ambulance earlier, they would be able to stay more calm, giving themselves more time to respond, and also they could have stopped before the cones. If they would have waited for the sirens to turn on, they probably would have ended up stopping at the cones and block the ambulance from going past. Overall, it's a good lesson learned by my student. Keep checking those mirrors frequently, it's not just to pass your driving test. By being aware of your surroundings, you're going to spot things nice and early. You won't ever get surprised, so this will help to keep you calm and in control.